Hello folks, so new Pearl Jam album means lots more new Pearl Jam songs to learn. So we're going to be doing Scared of Fear in this one. Standard tuning, really interesting tones on this one actually. I don't think they used their own gear. I think they dipped into uh, Andrew Watts, the producer's mountain of gear. And the uh, guitar part in this is no exception. I'm using um, a single calls, bridge. This is my amp tone with a tiny bit of reverb coming from the uh, Evermore, so I'd add a little bit of reverb to it. Now for the main tone, I'm using the Formula 51 from Catlin Bread. <laughs> Gives it a really sort of interesting gritty tone, I think, which is close. And then for the other part, I'm just popping on the light speed, Greer Amps. <laughs> So those are my tones. First riff goes like this. Two, three, four, one. And around again, okay? So thumb over the top and you're gonna be playing a G major, okay? If you play it barred, then you can't do the you can't do that part, right? So thumb over the top, that's also gonna mute the A string, or you could use your third finger to mute that, and then you're gonna do... <laughs> top E is also muted uh, by my um, first finger there. But don't worry if you wanna flatten your first finger, it'll still sound cool. Like that, but I just, you know, arch my fingers around a bit more. So that's the hand positioning, and then we're gonna play this. It comes in on the second beat, so one. Okay. Then put your little finger back on. That's it, right? Pull off. And the rest all strummed, okay? Again. One more time. Subtle difference on that third time. You do an extra one of those. Then you slide up to the sixth fret. And then you play an F. And then you go round again. Three times of that and then you hit an E minor. Put your boost on if you like and then we go into this part. And it's octaves all on the A and the G string, the D string gets muted. I use the back of my first finger there. And we're going to go eighth notes, sixth fret, up to the eight, ten, thirteen. And then down, six, five, three, one, and it's all eighth notes. The other guitar part, meanwhile, just stays on the sixth fret, okay? So you're gonna play. Play it seven times, and then the eighth time you play. Like that. So the last two times would be. So that's it, but you'll get some really interesting harmonies because that's banked there while the other guitar's moving around. There's some cool stuff that happens there. Into another verse. Twice this time though, then you go to the E minor. Another chorus, same as before. All that good stuff. And uh, then you have a solo part which plays over. <laughs> I haven't worked that out. Comment below if you want it. <laughs> now, coming out of the solo, out of this E minor part, and it goes into a half time feel, okay? So you'll have. <laughs> Go to a G minor, right? And it's three, mute, zero, three, three. Okay, then um, the other part is G minor. 
F, C, E flat, D. And then over the top we've got this part which goes. You've got that stuff going on, okay? So slowly, three, four, Second time, slightly different, you just play. So I'm just flattening my finger for that bit. Then we go into this double time feel. Uh, Mike's part is just playing this repeating pattern. Then behind that we have this slowly, it is double time fill, but you're going to play three, four. And then. So to speed, two, three, four. Okay, second time is playing. I like that. It's the same thing, right? So rather than going starting here, you're just up here and you're just playing mainly eighth notes, but with this rhythm. F. to uh, E flat or D sharp. D. Like that. Then you go to the chorus three times. And then the outro part is just this. I think it does that four times. And that is it. You're done. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you soon.